Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa, if you're new. If you're not and you've been following along with me um, on my journey into motherhood, then welcome back. So today I'm doing what's in my diaper bag. I wasn't really gonna do one because there are so many around, but I am finally getting the hang of just like what to bring when we do um, go out and I'm a new mom so if you're a new mom this is this can be super relatable so I just wanted to be sure to like get mine out there to you guys if you're like I'm a new mom what do I do and your baby is like around the same age so my daughter is now a month and the 22nd today is the 24th a month and two days so um, that's kind of what this is all about is her age range so I'm just gonna get started. So first I have this diaper bag. I just got it off Amazon and I will link it down below. I got it because it's super cute and this color is my favorite and it's super cheap. So the first thing I'll just go from the sides. So they have two like little side pockets here. And on the side pocket I have a little changing pad that I can take with me. So a little travel changing pad and I have used this so much. Um, I just got it off Amazon. It was super, super cheap. I'm getting everything off Amazon because it's that new mom life and things get delivered to you. So that's the first thing on the side pocket. Then I'll go to this outward pocket here. So this pocket is awesome, amazing, because it has a ton of little tiny pockets. So in here, there's a little like mesh holder and that I just have, this is kind of like from what I had since I took this to the hospital, but I'll just kind of go through what I have in there. I totally forgot I had this stuff in here, but I just have a ton of little baby socks and baby mittens. My baby girl, <laughs> Jaden's hands are so small that these little mittens just fall off. So they're pretty awesome, but I like to have that just in case, but she kicks off all her socks anyway, but just in case that it's like super cold, I'm like, okay, I have a pair of socks I can put on her. And then just extra hats because it is cold. I'm in Utah and it's January, so it's been snowing on and off. Today it's super sunny, but as you know, if you're from Utah or know anything about Utah, the weather changes each and every day. So yesterday was super snowy, my car got snow on it, and now it's sunny. And here I am throwing hats. So that's in that pocket, and just in case it gets cold. Then I have diapers in this little pocket here. Um, I'm gonna see if you guys can see that. There's your, I just have a bunch of diapers. Baby girl's now in size one, which is crazy. And this is like my favorite. They have these little, this backpack has little insulated um, holders. So when I do pump, I put just a little bottle of milk in there, just in case if it's not like easily accessible for me to breastfeed her, say she's like, we're already buckled in, she's in her car seat, and she wants to feed, I'm like, girlfriend, we gotta go. Um, I'll just give her a little bit of my milk. Then getting into the actual backpack. So it's pretty huge in here. So this is this little bear we just got from one of our friends. When he gave it to us for her, it reminded us exactly of her. It just has like the big old eyes and it's so squishy and just like peaceful, just like Jaden. So. We, I put this in here because it just makes me so happy. And I haven't even read her name. It's princess, <laughs> little princess. So that's that, I'm throwing things. And then I have wipes. This is just a great value kind and it's so cool because it has dragonflies on it. Reminds me of my dad. And then a little burp cloth, I feel like, or a receiving blanket. We got these from the hospital. They're really cute ones you can get if you want. Um, we have a ton of them, but I just think it's so important to have that just in case they spit up. You can use it for everything. And then I have a, I'll show you guys like the pockets later, but, and then I have this huge, I say huge because it's big on her. Now it's not so big because we've been washing it. Um, but just like a onesie that she can slip into. Jaden's not a huge fan of um, clothing that is like tight on her or like restricting she likes big old clothing so this is big on her and it keeps her snug and warm in the winter months and then another onesie just in case or a sleeper you can call it just in case of a blowout 
and those happen. <laughs> As a new mom, those happen. And then another onesie in a bigger size. Again, she likes big, bigger clothing, so she gets really comfy in these. I would have her bare naked, but it's January. And then I have a ton of just swaddles because you never know if one gets dirty um, and she loves to be swaddled. You can also use these as like receiving blankets um, to clean up, spit up. I like to over prepare. It just makes me feel better just in case. You can never over pack. I feel like if everything fits in there, I'm fine with it. So that's that big pack or the big pocket, like the main part of the backpack. I'm gonna put this all in because like I said, we're gonna have our first little adventure out. Then I have in here, there are just little like little pockets on the side right there. And I just have a box of gripe water. I've never used this yet. I picked it up when she was like first born because I was at Whole Foods and she wasn't two weeks yet. So I didn't use it on her. I haven't used it yet. She's been a pretty amazing baby but I have it there just in case. Like we try everything and nothing works. You never know. Like I said, I'm an over preparer. <laughs> and then a little binky just in case. I always, I have three of them that I really, really like, um, but I keep one in there. And then I have diapy cream that I got off of Amazon and then a little thing of coconut oil. You can use coconut oil for everything. And then I have um, hand sanitizer usually, which is like the baby Gannix kind. Usually I use this or I put this in my purse, but today I guess I just decided to put it in there after I change her diaper to clear off, clean off my hands. And then she's been a little stuffy lately. I think it's just allergy. She's been that way since birth pretty much. And they said it's because she swallowed like the amniotic fluid. It's still coming out, but she's still been stuffy. Each time we've gone to her checkups, they haven't said anything, but I have boogie mist that I use on her um, like once or twice a day, I think is what it says. Pretty much just says you just use it and you spray it into their nose and that just helps like flush out dust for them. And then of course the handy dandy little squeegee for her boogers, which she is not a fan of getting her nose clean, which makes sense. I don't like my face touched either. So that's pretty much that, I believe. I think that's everything in here. There is another little pocket that I haven't used that I just discovered right here. There's a lot of little pockets in here that I absolutely love. There's also this like back zipper. Eh. That back zipper that like connects to the actual backpack. Like you can get into the backpack that way. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, that's pretty much that. That is her little diaper bag. Um, one month version is what I'm gonna call it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'm packing this stuff back up. And if you have anything you wanna share, um, please let me know down below. Um, share something positive, something beautiful. If you're a mama or going to be a mama, let me know. Or if you're like pregnant and about to have your baby, let me know. I want to hear all about it. I love babies. I love, I love babies. I love humans in general, but yeah, have an amazing day guys. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you are new here, um, it's at underscore mother Teresa. I post a lot there. And let me know, like, give me a comment on there too. Like, send me a message. Say, hey, like, I found you off your channel. I don't have, like, a ton of people that watch, but you never know. Um, have an amazing day, guys. Bye.